Hey guys, okay, let's get started. Um, it's been a minute. I always say that. I hate that I say that. It's been a minute. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> um, okay, I am going to show you today um, a makeup look using one palette. This beautiful thing right here. I love it. We've got some foundation in here and some beautiful eyeshadows and illuminator in this side. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna spray this um, setting spray, also acts as a primer, all over my perfecter, and we're gonna put that all over the face, okay? While that kind of sets in and dries, I'm going to take my favorite eyeshadow primer um, by Urban Decay, Primer Potion, and put that on my eyes. Yes, I do have um, eyelash extensions on right now. I just got them a couple days ago. Um, it, they were a Christmas gift from my boss at the salon, and I love them. I'm just trying to figure out how to work around them. <laughs> I'm not used to having them. Okay, get that all on there. I'm gonna go in with Cupcake, which is this white, well not white, that is white. We'll use that later. This one right here, just as a nice foundation for my eyeshadow. It's just like, it's actually the same color as our setting powder. So it's a perfect, just neutral, great base color for any foundation look. And then I'm gonna go in with Peppa. This is one of our new ones. This beautiful color right up here, it is a shimmer. And our new eyeshadows, you guys. Oh, they're so good. They are, they are a powder, but the only way I can explain them is they're like creamy. Like, yes, you can have a powder that's creamy. I'm putting that kind of just <clears throat> all over my lid. Okay, hang on, I feel like my phone is sliding. And that makes me so nervous. It shouldn't slide like that. I don't want any like anything falling here. Okay, are we good? Hopefully. Hopefully we're good. Okay. So put Peppa all over my lid. Can you see that color there? Hopefully. Okay. I'm gonna go in with basic next, which is this brown right here. I'm just going to pop that in my crease just to deepen it a little bit. Oh, get that hair out of the way. Okay, well, like I said, I just got them like um, a few days ago. So I'm still trying to figure them out, but I really like them. <clears throat> so if you're local in Memphis, let me know and I will tell you the girl I go to. She's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go on with bright eyes next, this orangey shimmer. And I'm gonna flip it around and use the dense end of my brush because I want to pack this on <clears throat> right in the corner. deep in the outer corner a bit. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I feel like I want it a little bit darker. Okay, I'm 
going back in with trust and just deepening that corner a tad bit more. Okay. I think that's good. Restore brush cleaner. I'm just gonna swipe that around and guess what? My brush is clean and it's ready to use. You're welcome. It's the best brush cleaner ever. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with that white. And you guys, it's so hard to find a beautiful white that's not chalky. This is it. This is it. It's called Unicorn. And I'm going to take that on the inner corner of my eye. Look at that, it's just like, boom. I love it. Okay. I feel like my phone is sliding again. Oh no. And I'm also going to pop that my brow bone. Going in with my highlight killer first. All over using my 30 second hack brush to apply. You will see all the redness just even out and go away. I love that the 3D foundation can give you a full coverage look without the full coverage feel. And what I mean by that is, you know how like if you have redness or discoloration or acne that you wanna cover up and like when you're going for a full coverage look, you sometimes feel like really cakey and heavy yeah, you don't feel that way with this. It's awesome. So you can still get the full coverage you're wanting without feeling like you have a ton of makeup on. And your skin can breathe with the cream foundations. Okay. You can see I've only tapped my brush in a couple times, like a little product goes a long way, right? So that pretty much went everywhere. Um, okay, now I'm gonna flip it around and use this domed end for my contour. And that's going right under my cheekbone here. And that's just going to lift, it's like a bra for your face. <laughs> Give you a lift. So you can just see that's where you naturally have a shadow and that's just making it look like I have cheekbones. And a little bit on my forehead, contouring that out. And then I love doing it right on my jawline. Boom, okay. To kind of, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Let's wake up these eyes a little bit. Going in with a little bit of a, well, a lot of it of a lighter highlight color. And I'm going to wake up my eyes. Cause you know, sometimes those babies don't sleep. And when I say babies, I mean just, just the one little baby. My son sleeps great at night. Baby girl, not always. <laughs> so we're just gonna pretend like we get sleep with a little bit of makeup. And then I'm actually going to take my contour, I like to do it teeny bit of nose contouring. This is not a necessary step, but if you're extra, <laughs> then you can do that, okay? Um, okay, I'm gonna go in with Sandstone, which is this blush right here, and dab a little bit. These blushes are very pigmented, a little bit goes a long ways. 
I'm going to dab this on my cheek just a little bit more. I just like to kind of dabble it on. And then I'll kind of blend it out here in a second. But I like this color with the eyes that I chose. Okay, so now I'm flipping my brush and blending it out with that brush. I feel like you can see better when I'm down here with the lighting. Okay. So let's do that. And now I'm going to, I got this wet so it's damp. I'm going to spray that with that stay spray and get that all over my face. Normally I would just like spray it all over but I don't want to get it on my lashes so we're doing it like that. And then I'm going to set with the Vanilla Dust setting powder. I like to just put this right under my eye. That is going to prevent um, my like lower lash mascara from getting onto my face. So just set that and then last step I'm going to take, this is our new illuminator, the powder illuminator called Photoshop. I'm going to take this with the power powder brush and slide that kind of, I mean, wow, can you see that? <laughs> kind of like a circular motion because you don't want it to look stripey. The thing with the powder illuminators is they are more like out there, right? A little more dramatic than the creams. So you just gotta be really careful and really blend them out. But they're beautiful, so beautiful. A little bit on the tip of my nose there and my cupid's bow. And I think I want to go in with nude, which is this one right here. Um, and put that on my lips. All the blushes are a lip and cheek combo. So you can use them on your lips and your cheeks. And that's a matte color. I might do a dab of sandstone. Yeah, just one dab. That's what I used on my cheeks just to kind of blend it all in. We're gonna do a teensy bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. enjoyed that and you got to see some of those new eyeshadow and illuminator colors so thank you for watching please subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye I'm just um, clean off my brush a little bit I'm using the it's almost empty so it takes a minute <laughs> okay let's do face oh that was not a good sound. You guys. Oh, well, I'm up here. I'll just close my eyes so you can see those colors. <laughs> okay, stay there. Uh, what is AE lock? What did I do? I don't know what I did. Uh oh. Oh well. It's fine. We're gonna keep it first. Uh-huh.